In this video, I'm going to consider the class of a NumPy array. Consider this computer program. You can see the first line has used a correct convention for importing NumPy when you're using Python as your programming language. This line is creating an instance of a list that I am calling my list. And the list consists of prime numbers up to and including 7. It is possible to see that an instance of the list class has been created and that this line gives us a list because of the use of the square brackets here, which should remind us that we're dealing with a Python list. Now, this line creates a numpy array. And if you look here, you can see that we are using n which is the alias that we defined on this line here. I'm invoking this array and I'm passing to it my list, which was the Python list created on this line. So this will create a numpy array that's assigned to this name here. So this now is the name that references an instance of the numpy array. You can now see that the runtime of the program has appeared here. If we return to the program and look to this line, this line is going to print my list, which is the list created on this line, which you can see goes from 1 to 7. And if you look here, you can see that it's been printed out 1 to 7, as you can see where all of the entries are separated by a comma. If we go back to this line, we can see here that I'm printing the type of my list, and that appears here. And it clearly shows us that the type of my list is based on the class list. So the type of my list is list, and it is an example of the Python list. It is part of the core language of Python. Let's now turn our attention to this program statement, and you can see that it is going to print out my numpy array. And if we look to the output, we can see here that it is 1 through to 7, as you would expect because when we created it on this line, we passed in my list, which was created here, and you can see that is 1 through till 7. So if you look to here, you have got effectively the same content as there was in the Python list. You may note there's no commas here, but that's something I'll come back to at a later point in the playlist. If we now go back to this line and look here, you can see that I'm asking the program to print the type of my my numpy array and that is shown here and we can see that it is a class and the name of the class is shown here so this here is an instance of this class numpy.nd array so superficially when you look at the output of the list and of the numpy array they appear to have the same content so they look like they're one in the same but they are not you have to realize that this is based on the list class it's an instance of the list class whereas this is an instance of this class here so they are based on entirely different classes please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.